welcome back to the Cocoa Crafts YouTube channel. Again, another week, and today I'm doing a sewing gadget type of video. So I bought a few things that I thought it would be, you know, uh, nice to, um, you know, share with you because I think they are really practical uh, regarding sewing, and it really improves some of the stages of sewing. So I wanted to show you that. So that's why I'm making this video, and also I'm going to show you a few things that I got some time ago, but I also also think that they are really really good and also I just realized I'm that I'm wearing like the most like uh, non you know YouTube thing type of <laughs> um, outfit it's really comfy I just wanted to you know um, have something really comfy on today so that's why I'm wearing this and it's all handmade so that's good <laughs> Okay guys, so yeah, I'm going to start with the video and I'm going to do it like hands-on so that you see uh, all the things really, you know, close up instead of me just holding them up here because I think that way you won't be able to see them properly. So I'm going to do that just now and yeah, let's start. Okay guys, so I'm going to start with these pattern weights that I got recently on, I think it was Amazon or eBay. I'm going to leave all the links below for the things that, you know, I talk about on the video. Uh, so I used to have a really lovely pattern weights in the shape of a button, but they were a little bit old and they were not as heavy as you know I needed them to be so I just got these on as I said Amazon or eBay they were really really cheap they are very heavy and I actually f um, saw these first when I was doing my honeycomb sewing kind of day at the village haberdashery in London uh, which is a really lovely shop uh, you know selling fabrics and stuff in London uh, so I found these there and they were using um, these type of weights there and I thought they were really really um, you know simple and clever <laughs> so I thought that you know sometimes Oh, I think that sometimes you don't need to have like the best design and uh, the cutest thing in the world, just something that is actually useful and that you can use. So I got these and you have them in different like sh um, um, measurements and sizes. So some have this small circle in the middle, others have like a bigger one. I mean, I could paint these or I don't know do something with them but I think I'm actually going to leave them like this and they are really really good you know just to put on top of uh, pattern pieces on top of the fabric so that the fabric doesn't move maybe you don't want to pin it and uh, you just want to you know keep it in place I think it's is really really useful so yeah I got this as I said on Amazon or eBay, I will leave the link below and these are just great to, you know, use and then you get like 20 of them or something like that. So yeah, really, really good for the money that you pay. Now, moving on, I'm going to talk about the famous Wonder Clips. So the Wonder Clips, I think like the branding Wonder Clips uh, is part of Clover, which is this famous haberdashery brand. Um, so I think it's American, an American brand. So uh, they created this type. I think the ones that they sell are the red ones. So they created this type of clips. And I think that originally these clips were meant um, for quilting. So these are great to uh, when you need to hold like several layers of fabric. So I think quilters use them a lot but then I saw that lots of um, you know sewing people uh, just dressmakers started to use these and when I was teaching a class at the Newcraft house uh, just a few weeks ago one of the girls was actually using these to just you know for sewing like pins like the normal pins and I had been seeing them so much that I thought okay let's you know give them a go and try them of course I'm not going to stop using my pins because I love my pins but I thought it would be a good idea just to try them uh, to try this out and I got this uh, again on Amazon or eBay really really cheap I think it was like four pounds all these all these back and these are not the original ones these are like an imitation because the original ones are quite expensive so I thought okay if I just want them you know if I just want to give them a go it would be better 
if I just, you know, <laughs> get the fake ones. And I think they are exactly the same. Um, uh, I've already tried them and I've used them um, when I was sewing a little PVC bag. So it's one of those fabric, like a laminated cotton, that you... If you pierce it with your needle, with your, sorry, with your pin, it leaves a massive hole. So I was thinking, okay, let's, you know, um, uh, try this so that, you know, I don't uh, ruin the fabric. And it actually, you know, worked. It was really, really good for holding the fabric together. Um, and also, I have to say that even though I liked using them, uh, it, it is true that you know, when you, the closer you get to the needle, the harder it gets for them to move, you know, forward. So you have to take them out way before you actually take uh, out a pin. So I would say that these work well with layers of fabric. Maybe you, uh, some people have said that you hold your zip, you know, in place. Um, I don't know. I, I really like them, but I think I will still use my pins more often. But I will have them in there just, you know, uh, for example, I'm going to start making a coat soon and I know that the fabric that I'm going to use you know I don't want the fabric to have lots of holes so I'm sure that I will use this and also I, ha I will have like several layers of fabric so I'm sure I will use this uh, I don't know um, leave a comment on the uh, on the comment thing below you know just uh, letting me know uh, what do you use them for as well if you just use them like normal pins or just for a specific projects and as you can see I got this little bag and I know this is all plastic <laughs> and I know we are you know trying to live in a more environmental place but I don't know at the same time I cannot you know do it with everything and I think that if I use them as much as I think I will then it will be worth it and um yeah and hopefully if I stop using them for sewing I will try and use uh find an, a new use for for the for them again anyway so yeah the wonder fake clips was one of the things that I got recently talking about mm, pins and wonder clips um I finally got one of these magnetic pin holders. I used to, you know, have my pins on, you know, like the typical plastic round box where, you know, where you get them. And I was really annoyed because they were like jumping out of the thing all the time, going on the floor. Um, because when I, uh, I started teaching um, last year at a new place in, in London, I mean, the place is not new. I, I, I am new teaching there. Um, and they uh, get, you know, they have like loads of these. And you just, you know, when you drop a pin, you just, you know, pick it from, uh, from the floor thanks to the magnetic thing. And because, you know, I teach kids um, sewing, uh, <laughs> you can imagine how many pins are on the floor all the time so it is great to just you know grab the pins with your um you know your magnet uh so yeah i got one of these i think this is a clover one or hemline one of those brands and it's really good uh i don't know it is not very heavy and then you can put this cover at the top and i'm really really happy with this i now just put it you know next to my uh sewing machine and i just you know drop the pins as soon as i use them and as i said before i'm not gonna stop using my pins because i mean i love my pins and uh, yeah, these are really good. And also, I always use pins with heads because I hate those pins that I know are the ones that, you know, dressmakers use, you know, more often. Um, like the ones without and they're like more professional. But to me, these are great just to hold because I have to say something. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of my thumbs or the shape of my thumbs or whatever your my, my my thing that I'm crazy. But I honestly, I'm not really good with a small like fiddly things i'm not good i mean my fingers i think my thumbs are not you know engineered for that so the bigger the thing that i'm using the better so yeah this is my magnetic pin holder Okay, so uh, not a new thing but something that i wanted to show you as well is this buttonhole you know I don't know, ruler, gauche, I don't know how to call this. Um, 
I will leave the link below so that you can see. So this, my actually my dad gave it to me for Christmas a few years ago because he was like, okay, let me know uh, what do you want, you know, uh, I don't want to give you just something that you might not use. And I was like, okay, I really need one of these. So these are great to know where to place your buttons and that they are, you know, um, on a, you know, the same distance between each other. Uh, so yeah. This is just, yeah, I think it's called like a flexi gauche for buttonholes, something like that. So I've only used it for buttonholes, which is, I think, the purpose that it is, you know, made for. And this is great. You just, you know, put it on your fabric and then you can make marks and you can, you know, know where your um, uh, your buttons hole go. What I see is that, I mean, of course, you can make vertical buttonholes but it feels more for like horizontal ones, right? I don't think that you can, I mean, you can always put it like this, but then it doesn't make sense. So I think it's more like for horizontal buttonholes, but you can anyway make a mark for vertical buttonholes as well. And you know that they are placed, you know, um, in the correct uh in the correct place <laughs> on your fabric. So yeah, this is one of the things I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh my God, I'm sorry. Okay, so. Uh, I think I'm getting a cold just before going on holidays. Amazing. Anyway, so yeah, this is the thing that I got, um, that my dad got for me. And I haven't used it that much because I tend to use like the marks on the pattern pieces when, you know, I make something. But, well, anyway, um, I think it is, it is really good if you, uh, need help. And also I think it has like more markings in here. I, I wonder what they are for. So... Of course, maybe you won't be like me and you will try and find the meaning of it all. <laughs> yeah, because if you expand it like this, you have like more measurements in here. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, it is great. If you have, oh, if you have more uses for this, let me know apart from, you know, exercising and doing things like this. <laughs> next, so the next is this cutting thing. So I usually use this for cutting my uh, small threads as soon as I, you know, finish sewing something. I go and um, trim all my threads and cut all my threads. But I got this recently um, because I got some fabrics from uh, CU at 6, which is an amazing sewing, uh, not sewing, but fabric company. I think they are from Brussels or something like that. I think they're in Belgium or, um, you know on that area, I think it's Belgium. Uh, so they sent some fabrics and they sent this little present as well, uh, which I think is amazing. So I see that there are like Japanese or uh, Chinese like symbols in there. And it's just actually to cut your threads. And I've been using it recently and I think it is great because I think that the blade is much, you know, it's really, really sharp. But I would say something, you have to be careful if you're cutting threads, you know, very near your garment because they are so sharp that you can actually cut your fabric. And with the scissors, it has not happened to me till now. So, um, yeah, I would say that these are really, really good. And I know that a lot of people use this as well. But I would just be careful with your fabric. If it is very delicate, I would use normal, you know, like this type of scissors, which are embroidery scissors. Uh, but yeah, this one, anyway, I really liked it. I think, you know, it's quite cool uh, to use and really, really sharp. So yeah, and I got it like in this mustardy color. I love it. Okay, so... <laughs> You will be thinking, what is that, Anna? Okay, so these, I got them because I saw someone on Instagram using it. I think that happens, you know, all the time that you see someone on Instagram using something and you're just like, oh my God, I need that. Uh, I didn't know that existed actually, and this is the case. So these are silicone plastic thingies for your fingers for when you are ironing and I think it was so clever because it happens to me all the time you know that I'm like maybe um ironing something that is really thin I don't know or maybe like um or maybe like a hem that is uh quite tiny and then I'm with my iron I'm gonna actually take my iron 
So I'm with my iron, and you know when you get super close, and then you go with your um, steam, and you press, and then all the steam comes off, and then you're just like, ah! and then, uh, yeah, you actually burn your fingers. So I got this, and I've been using them quite a lot, and they are really useful, and they are not like hard to use or uncomfortable they are just fine so you just hold your fabric like this and then you keep on you know um ironing and doing um pressing the steam button and then it protects your fingers quite a lot and i use it uh, a lot with uh for example bias tape you know when with bias tape bias binding you need to uh usually uh press out one of the edges and they are so tiny and you have to you know go with your fingers and you're scared of you know um damaging your fingers so yeah i got these i will leave the link below i think these are from prim um so yeah really really useful and then you just go and then you don't burn your fingers i know they look a little bit like strange but they are useful i don't know how to take them out now okay and they have several sizes so this i think is for the thumb this one is more like normal and then this one's for the middle which is a little bit smaller and that's it these are great okay and now that i have my iron in here i want to show you something you see this little bit in here so this is not the actual um Part, this is not part of my iron. This is something that I also got on Amazon. This is my actual iron, as you can see, full of these things. So this happened. This iron was a present from my mom because, you know, I really needed a good iron. And, I, and, and you know, she told me about Rowenta and she was like, OK, I will, you know, um, buy one for you for your birthday so that you have like a proper iron for, you know, for your sewing. And I was like, yay. And then I started using it. And of course, this thing happened. And uh, I think it was as usual for interfacing, you know, that I was um, ironing some interfacing and because I was not using the other thing that I wanted to show you, which is this cloth that I got uh, as well online, which protects um, your fabric and it is great, but you can use calico or any other type of fine fabric that you have, but I wanted to get one that was, you know, made for that. So I always put this on top of, you know, delicate fabrics and um, interfacing and stuff. Uh, so this is great. Um, so yes, that happened. And even though I use that thing that everyone uses, I don't know if I have it in here. Uh, it's not. Okay, it's the, the kind of waxy thing that you put in here when it's a little bit hot and then you remove the dirt. Okay, it. I mean, it got some dirt removed, but not everything. And I was like, okay, nice. I just damaged this expensive iron that my mom got me. So I was really annoyed. And then someone told me, of course, again on Instagram, to get one of these things that, as you can see, is full of... Um, from the water is, uh, how do you call the scale? Um, so yeah, it has a little bit of scale in there. Anyway, so these go with lots of different um, irons and it protects your iron and is uh i mean it's amazing i think it was like maybe 20 pounds which i think is a i know it's a little bit you know money but it is worth it to protect your iron and it doesn't you know get any sticky thing or anything and I, um, sometimes i think why they don't make the base of the irons with the same material so i don't know and the heat goes you know through them perfectly fine and yeah i'm really really happy with with this because it protects your iron and yeah it is amazing the only thing is like if it you know falls to the floor it can break because this is my second one because my boyfriend just you know um I don't know how to say that in English. He just dropped the, the freaking iron to the floor. And yeah, this broke the old one that I had. So he got me one. Huh. Um, but yeah, this is amazing. So I really recommend this. And I think it was from um, eBay, this one. And now moving on, I'm going to show you two more things. Apart from this that I've already shown you um, right now. I want to show you a couple more things regarding um, ironing and pressing. So this is the cloth that I told you about. I think I, 
it was from Hemline or one of those brands. And I know that I could have used any other fabric that I had in there, but I didn't have any fabric that I was not going to use. So I just got this and I've been using this a lot and it's really, really good. So it's just like a cloth uh, for ironing and protecting your um, your fabric. So this is great. And then I also got this. I think this is called this is called like mitten ironing mitten or something like that. So this one you put your hand in here and it is great, you know, when you need to press something um, maybe you need to do like an armhole, uh, it's, it's great for curves, uh, like an armhole or things like that and then you can put your fabric in there and iron it like this and this is basically the same but it's much heavier and I think this is basically for sleeves, you can put like a sleeve all around and then you know you can press your seams easily, they are on a curve uh, so yeah I think these are great, I haven't used them that much but I think they are useful anyway you know to have on your you know pressing toolkit thing um, so yeah these two Okay, and now I have um, and now I have another little thing in here. I think I've shown you this before. Uh, I'm not promoting fish cars or anything like that. It's just that that's the scissors that I got. And the reason that I got fish cars, to be honest, is because my mom uh, used to use fish cars all the time when I was a kid uh, when sewing. So I think that's why I got mine because I saw hers and I was like, okay, I will get the same one. I I mean they are good so yeah I have no problem with them so this is a sharpener and I am sure that you can use this with any type of scissors that you have it doesn't you know they don't need to be fiskers and you just place your scissors I mean these are a little bit small for this I think uh, no they are fine so you just place your scissors in here and there is like a blade inside that sharpens um, your scissors uh, so yeah, as you can see, it is really easy to use and I got this in Amazon as well and I think it works for any type of scissor. So yeah, you can um, get one of these as well. And the last two things that I want to show you. One is this that I got, uh, you know, um, so highly Jane. Uh, she sent me one of her amazing boxes uh, some time ago and there was this inside, like a little present, and this is wax that you use for threading, it's supposed to be for threading, I think. So you pass your yarn along these, you know, little bits in here, little cuts, and then the jar the thread gets a little bit of the wax, and then it's supposed to be easier to thread. I think it's great. What I do use it is just, you know. Uh, leak with my tongue a little bit of the top of you know the tip of the thread and that's it but um, these are supposed to be really good I think I've never used it but it's one of those things that you know you have as a kind of gadget uh, so yeah let me know if you've used um, one of these uh, before and the last 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 gadget is this I'm sure that you follow me on Instagram and you uh, have seen this little thing um, there as well uh, so this is called a sticky sewing tape so it is actually a sticky sewing tape uh, a sticky tape at least so let me just has a little bit in it. it does look like something to eat like sweets to be honest oh it's really sticky okay uh but it's not so uh i asked on instagram um uh, a lot of people okay what is this why how do you use this and apparently you use it for sewing sips so that you uh place them you know they don't move while you sew the the sip and people say that it is amazing i have not tried it yet i want to and maybe i will try it on my coat because it has like a really big sip and i'm a little bit worried about how that is going to go uh, so i might use it there and i am going to leave a link below with a tutorial on how to use this uh, sticky sewing tape so that you see how it is used because i found quite a few tutorials on Inst on uh, YouTube, you know, telling you how to use it. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it was something, yeah, totally out of what I'm, you know, I usually use or what I'm used to. So um, yeah, these are 
uh, supposed to be great for that. I don't know if you have used this before, just let me know and leave a comment and, and tell me what do you use it for. And uh, anyway, I will leave a tutorial, a link for a tutorial below so that you can um, see that. Okay guys, so that is it. I hope you liked the video. I think it was quite interesting to show you all the gadgets that I've been, you know, buying in the last couple of years and then in the last few weeks and I use quite a lot of them as I said and um, yeah just leave on the comments below anything you want to add regarding any of the gadgets that I've used and if you have any other one that you want to share just you know write about it down below and yes and that's it hope you see you very soon I I'm hoping to do another video next week but I'm not sure as is you know just two days before I go on holidays um, so yeah I'm going to do a sewing class uh, making a swimsuit with someone uh, who is like a swimsuit designer teacher and everything uh, so I'm doing that next week and hopefully I will be able to do a vlog showing you how it went and then um, you know hopefully I will be able to upload it before I go on holidays but I'm not sure so we'll see uh, so yeah, that's it guys. I uh, hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And that's it guys. See you very soon. Bye! I'm here with my iron. I burn.